everyone, Christine here. I want to talk to you today about how you can add interest to a room and if you don't own your own place, if you rent, it's something that you can take with you to your next place. So I'm designing a, ro a nursery and the, mo the mom to be, she's a first time parent, wanted to add alphabets to the room and said to me, but I don't want to leave my decoration behind because I'm on a budget and if I have to move, I want to be able to bring the decorations with me. So what we, I decided to do is actually um, get canvas. I painted it already white so that the decals can adhere to them. I have some alphabet decals like these that I'm going to stick directly to the canvas and then we'll The reason why I went ahead and I um, painted the, all the canvases already is because I want the decals to actually stick. If you try to do decals straight to um, canvas without prepping it, it probably will not stick and you don't want it to start peeling. I have two different size canvases. So the canvas itself is part of the artwork and then the alphabets on there is a second part of it. The wall behind it is green, like a um, very light green. So this is actually going to pop and the, the colors on the decal is actually going to add more interest to the room. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do that. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to cut out every alphabet individually, place it on my canvas, make sure that everything fits right and that it's equally um, spread out. Alright guys, so I went ahead and I cut each letter individually. I just showed you a picture of how I'm going to place them on the canvas. Um, I have that as a reference for me on my phone right in front of me. And what I'm just going to go ahead and do is just place the letters on the canvas. I'm going to show you um, simple steps to do that. I'm going to take off the letters off the canvas and just prepare to, to place the A. It's always good to prep before you do, right? Uh, construction work always says measure twice, cut one. In this case, we're going to make sure we want we have everything where we want it, so we don't have to do it again. Just separate the decal from the paper. Okay, be gentle so that the letters do not stretch out. And I'm just going to go ahead and place it. Make sure that it's straight. As you see, I already placed it, right? I'm going to go ahead and put my finger behind the canvas and add pressure. Because this is painted, um, it would adhere more. And then I'm just going to place this down. And with the card that I told you that you should have to add pressure, I'm just going to go ahead and put my finger underneath and just add the pressure. Make sure that this sticks. Okay? Just make sure that you don't add too much pressure that you puncture the canvas and go from there.